it's Rachel and today I'm doing the Super Jenny review. So we'll start by looking at the box. This is the lid where it opens and then there's a couple of really cute pictures on the side of the box. My first reaction when I got the box was that it's really, really small. I don't know if that uh, you can tell that on the camera or not, but it's a really small box. But it's super cute and I love the pictures on the side. And then inside of the box, obviously there's the cup and then there's also this uh, cotton plain pouch or bag for, to keep your cup in and it's a flower design. Um, I'll let you have a look at the cup. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to see any of the markings I'm talking about here because they're really hard to see on the camera, but um, it does say Super Jenny on the front with some wings. And then on the other side, it says Made in the USA. And then on the inside, there are measuring lines. So there's a 7.5 and 15 milliliter, as well as a quarter and a half ounce. So we'll just go through some quick measurements for you. This is the small size. So the capacity of the small is 32 milliliters, which is two milliliters more than the Diva cup. So quite a high capacity cup. The large size is 41.6 milliliters. The diameter of the small, so from here to here, is 43 millimeters. The diameter of the large is 47 millimeters. The cup length, so from the top to the base here, not including the stem, is 47.5 millimeters, and then the large size is 52 millimeters. The total cup length, including the stem for the small, is 62.5 millimeters, and then the large is 68 millimeters. So even the large size is two millimeters shorter than the Diva cup. The stem, I'll let you have a look at it here, is super flexible and short, and it has a kind of like a ball stem at the bottom, and it is, um, stretchy as well. Uh, there are four holes on the Super Jenny. They're straight cut. There's one there, one here, one here, and last one, the fourth one there. Uh, the, uh, the color that I have here is the teal color. Uh, it also comes in a darker blue color and clear. So you have the two options depending on the size. They were out of a couple of the colors um, size dependent a couple months ago, but I think they have them all back in stock now. So you should be able to get either size in any three of the colors. It is a very soft cup. This is the softest cup I have. So um, it's great for people with sensitive bladders or someone that you know needs a soft cup, um, but it may not be for everyone if you have a really strong pelvic floor um, or if you're needing a more firm cup. It is a very, very soft cup. It is made in the USA, like I said, and it is FDA registered. It is a good quality of silicone, it's medical grade silicone, and it's a nice uh, soft texture, um, but I wouldn't say it's that shiny silicone where everything sticks to it. Um, it's more like a matted uh, finish, and so uh, it's very smooth, but uh, nothing really sticks to it, so that's great, I really like that. Um, like this, like I said about the stem, it, it is a little short. So um, if you have a high cervix, I would definitely recommend going with the large size um, because the stem is kind of um, difficult to reach, although it is super comfortable. So it doesn't like push on your urethra or anything like that. So that's great. Um, but just a consideration that it could be harder to remove than um, some of the cups that have a longer stem or a longer cup base in general. I was a little concerned when I was first looking at it that it wouldn't be a good cup for me because it was highly recommended for those with a heavy flow. Um, and then also it has a wider diameter than some other cups that I use. Uh, but I didn't find any issues with the diameter. I actually really, really like this cup. It may be my Goldilocks cup. And despite the fact that I don't have a heavy flow, which is what kind of turned me off from getting it in the first place, it is a great cup for me. So I don't really need the capacity, um, but I like how short and soft it is. I really, really like it. Um, so I, being in Canada, I did have to get it shipped in from the US. It did cost about $60. Um, I ordered it straight from the Super Jenny website and that included the cup exchange cost as well as shipping. So I'll do a couple cup comparisons for you. The first one with the Diva cup. So lengthwise, you can see that the Diva cup is a little bit longer in both the stem and the cup length, but they are the exact same diameter. So they're both 43 millimeters in diameter. And like I've shown before, the Super Jenny cup is a fair bit softer than the Diva cup. You can see it's just crushed there. And in comparison with the Lunette, again, the Lunette cup is longer, but mainly just the stem. You can see that the cup of the Super Jenny is slightly longer than the Lunette, but the Lunette stem is longer. Um, and then also this, uh, the Lunette is uh, 41 millimeters in diameter, so a little bit smaller in diameter than the Super Jenny. You can see the Super Jenny is wider. And then again, with the softness, the Super Jenny is super crushed in comparison to the Lunette Cup. 
The last cup I wanted to show you is the Sabelle cup because it is a very soft cup as well. So a very good comparison here. The Sabelle again is longer mainly because of the stem. The cup lengths are pretty similar. Uh, but again, it's it's wider, or the Super Jenny is wider as well because it is 43 and the uh, Sabelle is only 41 millimeters. The uh, Super Jenny, I think, is slightly softer than um, the uh, Sabelle, and this is both in the small size. I have heard that the large Sabelle is really, really soft, and so maybe a little bit softer than the large Super Jenny, for example. But the small, um, the Super Jenny is the softest cup that I have. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much my Super Jenny review. Uh, it is a great cup. Like I said, I really, really like this cup. I do believe that it is my Goldilocks cup. And I do have a preference towards softer cups though. So some key con or pros is that it is great for those with sensitive bladders. It's also great for those with medium to low cervixes. And finally, those with heavy flow because it is a high capacity cup. A couple cons may be for those with high cervixes, it could be hard to reach. So if you do have a high cervix and you wanna give it a go, I would definitely recommend trying the large size. Um, it also not, might not be great for those with um, strong pelvic floor muscles as it is a really soft cup. So if you do have strong pelvic floor muscles or know that you require a more firm cup, this may not be the cup for you. But otherwise, it's a great cup. I really like it. Give it a go. Uh, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and join our Facebook page. Bye everyone.